God bless you this morning, 2021. Somebody didn't make it. Somebody didn't make it. You know a lot of loved ones didn't make it. Somebody is preparing for a funeral right now. So that's enough to give yourself a clap offering that God seemed fit enough to have you still here. My God, God is powerful enough to take your breath. God is powerful enough to, to keep the strokes from you, especially when you're older. No, no chaos. We don't want none of that going on. I got up this morning. I thank God because I don't have no enemies. I don't dislike my, my enemies. I don't dislike no family members. I ain't got no uh, beef with nobody. Come on, somebody. I ain't got no chaos going on. I looked in the mirror this morning. I looked it good to my own self. My God, I got myself dressed, made myself some coffee, opened that refrigerator, looked in there, and I said, Lord, I thank you. My God, I looked around this little apartment. I got a little furniture up in here. My God, I got a little piece of money in my pocket. I looked outside. I got a hoopty out there. I wish you would get excited like I'm excited because here's the thing. Do I have problems? Yes, I do. My God, but I tell you what, I've been in this long enough that uh, you say, well, he, well, is he like that all the time? I'm like this all the time. If you know me, I'm not sad. Uh-uh, because I know the, the, what God has brought me through. I've been through some hell in my life. Come on, don't let, don't let this little suit coat fool you. I've been in the pits. Come on, somebody, don't crack cocaine 11 years. Known drug uh, dealer in this, in this city. Come on, I wish I had somebody to talk back to me uh, addicted to uh, cocaine for 11 years. I ain't going to get no help. That's why I don't play church. But I do know what I'm telling you will work if you work it. you got to work it. Listen, I, 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 it's been in my spirit. Uh, it's so much uh, violence going on. I'm talking about three or four women, their boyfriend beating them, their husband beating them. Uh, even a couple guys that I, I'm talking to now that their wife is verbal abusive. Come on, somebody. Let me read this in your hearing for my introduction, and then we'll go from there. Because what I want this year, going to 2021, I want the sisters to stand up. Not When I say sisters, I'm not just talking about black sisters. I'm talking about all sisters, because black men is not the only men that's beating women. All men is beating women nowadays, especially when you listen to this. Listen to this introduction. Women may be afraid of strangers, but it's the husband, it's the lover, it's the boyfriend, or someone they know who is the most likely to hurt them. According to the U.S. Justice Department, study two-thirds of violence attacks against women are committed by someone the woman knows. Then it goes on to say, in the U.S. state, in the United States, excuse me, in the United States, one of the most dangerous places for a woman is in her own home. Now, you know that's ridiculous. In my own home, I got to be at work worried about going home to this abusive, this violent man or woman. Approximately 1,500 women, 1,500 women are killed each year by husbands or boyfriends. About 2 million men per year beats their partner, according to the FBI. Let me read this, what it says in Psalms. Psalms 40 and 1. It said, Deliver me, O Lord, from evil men. Preserve me from violent men. Preserve me. Take care of me. Uh, Psalms 40 and verse 4, it reads, People who have purpose to overthrow my going. To overthrow my going. Meaning, what that mean? That means people's in your life, not for you to keep them around you. They are designed by the trick of the enemy to latch on to you and keep you from going to your destiny where God is taking you. Listen, you have to be so careful. I know you grabbed that man. You know, he was cute. He had a six pack, but he don't work. He's no good for you. And he's abusive. And he's jealous. You can't. Oh, I'm oh, I feel I'm talking to somebody this morning. Get into that camera. Listen to what I'm telling you. You have to bite your lip. Mm. And tell yourself, I am not taking this no more. The devil is a lie. Now, some people go through what they go through for a testimony to help the next young lady or the next man. What I went through in my life is not for me to hold. It's for me to release it to God and let God deal with it. And then I can move on to my destiny. Come on, somebody, talk, talk back to me. But this text in uh, Psalm 41, it lets you know that Saul got jealous of David 
Because the women were saying, singing songs and playing instruments. And Saul killed a thousand, but David killed 10,000. Saul got jealous right then. There are some people that's right now, you, you're supposed to get that promotion, but somebody is backbiting you in the back. Well, I don't know why she getting that job. She be late all the time. I don't know why she, she getting that job. She don't never be in her area where she's supposed to be. There's somebody always trying to knock you from your level. So listen, I want everybody this year to go to another level. Get a relationship with God. You know what my resolution was uh, coming in for 2021? It's the first two commandments. Love thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with, with all their mind. That's the first one. That's what I'm going to start off with. Then the second is love thy neighbor as thyself. I'm going to love on people. That's what I do. And I'm going to give. See, a lot of you don't want to give. And that's what locks you up from your finances coming. Come on, somebody. God took me to passive income. What is passive income? That means when I don't have to go nowhere to make money. God already have me doing it. I, 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 I'm a subcontractor. God got it where my money flows now. I'm not chasing no money no more. Why? Because I put it in God's hand. You be, you be the author of, you know what I need. You the CEO of my life. You know exactly what I need. I get excited about that. Because once you put this God stuff in plan and, 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 and a purpose to put nothing in front of God, according to Matthew 6.33. Let me, don't quote me on but this is what it said. Matthew 6.33, it said, first seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Do right. Then all your desires come, that house you want, that car you want, that baby you want, that husband you want, the lose weight, that business you want. All of this start coming when you start working this Jesus thing. I ain't going to get no help right there. That's what worked for me, and that's what I'm telling you will work for you. Listen, hey, if you don't want to do good, come on somebody, I can do bad all by myself. I need you to get your little clothes. Don't do it too quick. Get your little clothes, get your little jeans and them little tennis shoes you wear in that turn hat and, and, them, and them saggy jeans. And you need to go and find you somewhere to go because I am done with it. I'm going to raise my children by myself. My God, if you don't take me out to dinner, I can take my own self out to dinner. If you don't buy me nothing, I buy my own self something. Come on, somebody. So done with this pity party. Let's believe that we in a, in a race and God want us to finish the race. It's not how you start. Is definitely how you finish. Is that good news? Well, I love you all. Let's have a good uh, 2021. Let's stop the violence. Uh, men, keep your hands to yourself. Women, keep your hands to yourself. We shouldn't be hitting nobody. We shouldn't be in no chaos with nobody. Come on. And I know we're in the world. But at the same time, we have to love on one another so we can stop this chaos. Especially too much going on in South Bend. And then you have to be careful what you're doing on Facebook. You can't be talking about people and stuff on Facebook because people will see you at Walmart and confront you. And this is what's happening too. The Bible said be yay or nay. If you don't know what you're talking about, don't say anything. What I'm talking about is through the Bible. So don't be mad at the messenger. Come on, somebody. Don't, don't look at this little tie and say, well, I don't like his tie. He, I don't know what he on there talking about. Because you, you're not listening to the word. Don't, don't be looking at me. Look at the word of God, what it is saying, because this is what's going to take you to another level. I can't do it. I'm going on the strength of this word. This is what brought me to where I am. Is that good news? That's good news. So I'm done with the uh, I can't do it. I'm done with my mama one there. I never seen my daddy. That's no excuses. That's excuses for where you feel you're not at. You're going to make an excuse to blame somebody else. And you can't do that. You because know, we all can complain enough where we can say, oh, I lost that job. That's why I'm not here. Come on, somebody. My daddy wasn't there. My mama was on crack cocaine. So what? You're grown. You're 41. You need to know that you need to get up and make something happen. Because I don't care how my dad loved me now. He's not going to come over and pay my bills. No, he's not. Dad is living his own world. You got to live your own world. You got to get a relationship with God for yourself. It's not about the church that your mama went to 21 years ago. If that church may not be for you, you may have to go to a, another church cross town somewhere to get your real blessing. You cannot follow somebody else's path because God don't have us going through the same path. The same way we don't have the same fingerprints. 
Come on, we have a, a life and a destiny that's separate from everybody. Some people are gonna go through a death. Some people are gonna go through tragedy. Some people are gonna go through um, losses of job, homes being lost, all the negative things. Some people go through for a testimony. It's not for you to hold. We want to hold stuff. My mama wasn't there. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I don't nobody like me. I'm in an abusive relationship. Well, you gotta do something about it. You is the only one who can change you. Can't nobody change you. God, all the, all the power God, God, God. God will not change you unless you're ready to change. That's good news. You need to bite your lip mm, and say, I'm not going through this this year in 2021. I'm going to get me a prayer life. I'm going to get, I'm going to find it. Find it. You got to be like Ruth and Naomi. When you read the story, story in the Bible, Ruth and Naomi. One thing I loved about Ruth, Ruth said, well, you know what, Naomi? I don't know about this God that you serve, but wherever you lodge, I'm going to lodge. Whatever you eat, I'm going to eat. And wherever you talk, when you're talking about this God, I want to know this God, and I want to get something. When she done that and was nice to her neighbor, and you God opened her a blessing, and she met Boaz. Come on, somebody. Boaz was a rich man in the Bible, married this girl. My God, when you put God first, I'm telling you, can nothing in hell attack you. Ooh, this is good news. This is good news this morning. I am a conqueror. Go to that mirror. Look at yourself. Get your back straight. Come on, come. Put your eyebrows on. Get your hair done. Get your feet done. Find your new outfit. And when he asks you or she asks you where you're going, say, man, I'm going to find some Jesus. My God, I'm going to